on Friday, September 27th, the 4-0 Dragons hosted the 3-1 West Bloomfield Lakers at Dragon Stadium in a battle for first place in the OAA Red. On the Dragons' first drive of the game, they moved the ball down the field. On second down, on their own 32, Blaze Lauer is under center. He takes the snap and pitches it to Mitch Howell, who stops, throws, and hits Sam Sterich, who stumbles and falls on the Laker 37-yard line for a big first down. On third and eight, Lauer's in shotgun. He evades pressure and hits number 20, Mitch Debrinkit, for another first down on the Lakers' 20. On second and 10, Lauer's in shotgun. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff, and hits Mitch Howell in the end zone. The Ross PAT was good, and the Dragons are on top early, 7-0. On the Lakers' first drive, West Bloomfield has a first and 10 on their own 39, when quarterback C.J. Harris hands off to number six, Donovan Edwards, who streaks down the sideline, outrunning defenders all the way into the end zone for a 61-yard score. The PAT was good, and the Lakers tie things up at seven with 8-12 left in the first. Later in the first, following a West Bloomfield punt, the ball is downed on the Lake Orion 18. On first and 10, Lowers and shotgun, he hands the ball off to Kobe Manzo, who sees nothing but open field ahead of him. 82 yards and no flags. The point after was good. Lake Orion 14, West Bloomfield 7. A Ross field goal in the second quarter made the score 17-7 at the half. Let's go to the third. The Lakers have a first and 10 on their own 31. When Harris mishandles the snap, he picks it up, bursts through a gap, and takes off. He's taken down on the 25 by Sinai Palo. On the next play, number 46, Anthony May takes the ball down to the five-yard line. Two plays later, with West Bloomfield threatening the score, officials see lightning off in the distance. The players leave the field, and fans are encouraged to take shelter. After a delay, it's announced that the game is postponed until 7 p.m. the next day. The weather was much better on Saturday night as the action picked up right where we left off with the ball spotted on the Dragons' five-yard line. On third down, Harris struggles with a low snap and he is tackled for a loss. On fourth down, the Lakers settle for a field goal, which makes the score 17-10 with Lake Orion on top. On the ensuing drive, Lake Orion is moving the ball. On third and 19, on the Dragons 44, Lowers and shotgun, he finds an open Drew Van Heck who is tackled inside the Lakers 20 for a Lake Orion first down. A few plays later, facing a fourth and goal on the one Lowers under center, he takes the snap and plunges into the end zone to give Lake Orion a two touchdown lead in the third. Let's go to the fourth quarter with the Dragons driving. It's second down on the Lakers 29, Lowers and shotgun. He fakes the handoff, keeps it, he loses the handle. Number 39, Mike Williams somehow comes up with it and takes off. No whistle, he goes 71 yards into the end zone to cut the lead to seven. Lake Orion 24, West Bloomfield 17 with just over nine minutes left to go in the game. On the next drive, Lake Orion has the ball on the Lakers four yard line. On third and goal, Lauer pitches the ball to Drew Van Heck, who turns the corner and crosses the goal line. Touchdown, Lake Orion. The Ross PAT was good, and the Dragons reclaim a two-touchdown lead, 31-17, with just 3.39 left in the game. On the next drive, the Lakers move the ball all the way to the Dragons' one-yard line. Running back, Donovan Edwards takes the snap and finds the end zone to close the gap to seven points. 31-24 with 1.47 left on the clock. Lake Orient's next drive resulted in a turnover on downs. West Bloomfield takes possession on their own 38-yard line, down by seven with just 1.19 left in the game. On first down, Harris is sacked for a loss. On second and long, Harris is in shotgun. He completes it to number three, Ethan Bunch at the 50, just short of a first down. 45 seconds left. On third down, Harris finds Bunch again for a first down on the Lake Orion 44-yard line. 30 seconds left. On second down, Harris hits Donovan Edwards at the 22. He goes out of bounds to stop the clock. On first down, Harris finds Ethan Bunch, who goes in for the score with just 12.2 seconds left on the clock. The PAT was good, and the score is tied at 31. We're headed for overtime, unbelievable. Lake Orion gets the ball in overtime. The ball is placed on the 10 yard line and the Dragons have four downs to score. On third down, Blaze Lauer dodges pressure and finds Mitch Howell in the back of the end zone for the score. 
The PAT was good, and the Dragons are back on top, 38-31. Now it's the Lakers' turn. The ball is placed at the 10. The Lakers are stopped three times. But on fourth and eight, Harris fields a low snap and hits Ethan Bunch in the end zone. The PAT was good, and things are tied, 38-38. We head into a second overtime. West Bloomfield gets the ball first this time. On third and five, Harris finds Bunch again to regain the lead. The PAT was good, and the score is 45 to 38. Lakorian gets a chance to tie things up. On second and nine, Flower hits Drew Van Heck in the end zone. The PAT evens the score at 45-45. Bring on the third overtime. Lake Orion has the ball at the 10. On first down, Lauer fakes the handoff and goes up the middle. He finds the end zone and Lake Orion is back on top, 52-45. West Bloomfield gets the ball at the 10. On first down, Harris hits a wide open Anthony May in the end zone to tie things up. In all my years of covering high school football, I've never seen anything like this, folks. We're now in the fourth overtime. West Bloomfield has the ball. Harris is in shot. On second down and 16, Harris finds Donovan Edwards to take the lead. 59-52, this is nuts. Lake Orion has the ball, hoping to tie it up again. They're unsuccessful for three downs. Facing a fourth and goal at the one, Lauer takes the snap and pitches it to Drew Van Heck, who is stopped at the six. Game over, West Bloomfield gets the win in one of the wildest, craziest games I've ever seen. It's a heartbreaking loss for the Dragons, and even though both teams are 4-1, the Lakers take first place in the OAA Red due to a 3-0 division record. Next up, the Dragons travel to Bloomfield Hills on October 4th to take on the winless Blackhawks. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV Sports.